only one question that you need to ask your future partner, your future boyfriend, your future girlfriend, your future job interview. You ask them this one question and it's gonna tell you everything that you need to know about them, their personality, the way that their brain works, if they're a good fit for you. And the question is, can I get a drum roll? This will be The question is, there's one blue crab, there's one red crab. They're in a race, which one wins? Last night, my husband was texting this question to literally every single person in his phone book and all night his phone is blowing up and he keeps looking at me every single hour. He's giving me hourly updates. Oh yeah, this is what this person said. Idiot. This is what this person said. Smart. This is what this person said. Delete, blocking them forever. I'm gonna tell you the answer at the end of the video, but please leave it in the comments because I'm intrigued to know how you think. I don't know what we were expecting, but these answers were so unhinged. Like I've never gotten answers like this before. I got color theory responses. I got word definition responses. I got storytelling responses. They were like, well, you see, the blue crab was actually in a divorce right now. A bit. A what is going on? What is it with fall? Speaking of fall, I'm giving such fall girl, fall girl vibes. This looks like my textbook that I'm holding, but it's actually just puzzles. Are you kidding? Sir. Hello everyone, I just wanted to show off my new cute fall outfit. I thought this was adorable. Do you want me to take off my jacket? Don't, you don't have to ask me twice, I'll take it off. Stop. This is so cute. This jacket is so warm. It's got the felt inside. I feel like I should just be outside eating pumpkin spice everything. Which I think is the plan. I'm not gonna wear this all day for the rest of the vlog because I actually need to get changed and I need to work out. I saw a TikTok while I was laying in bed the other night and it was doing Les Seraphine's workout for seven days straight. And then it was a before and after. The before, honestly, she looked good, but it was definitely a before pick. The after pick, she had abs. She had laundry abs, cheese grating guitar. Dring, dring. She could do that on her does abs. Does it work like that, babe? Yeah, that's what she said. So I'm <sighs> gonna trust her because I trust every little thing on the internet. I genuinely do. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm gonna do Les Seraphim's workout for. You know what, I wanna say a week, but I have a feeling it might not be a week. I'm just gonna be real with you. There are fitness YouTubers who said this workout is the most unhinged, insane workout that they've ever seen in the history of their lives. Do you know what a burpee is? This workout, like 10% of the workout, not even burpee. the full workout, is 100 burpees. Like. He's doing a, uh. like, ah! I'm gonna get changed into my workout clothes, but before I see the comments, it's like, oh my God, where's outfit number two from? Where's outfit number one from? I'm just gonna tell you right now, all my looks are from Lucan. <laughs> I was talking about this the other day, but last time that we went to Korea, which was in April, there was like one thing that I kind of regretted, kind of didn't regret. Okay, the first thing was I didn't go to enough terminals to do that underground terminal shopping, right? Mm. But when I went one time, the clothes just weren't the vibe that I was looking for. And I heard that you have to go through like a very, like maybe you have to go to a very specific terminal. Sometimes even that terminal doesn't have what you're looking for. It's just a whole mess. But I really love Korean fashion. I really like Korean clothes. They're made well, they're affordable, and I feel like the style, the fit, everything is just kind of like the vibe that I'm looking for. And Lucan is a Korean fashion inspired brand and they have new collections added every single week. I love their stuff. I have so much Lucan clothes. Okay, the thing with Lucan is my mom wears Lucan. I am a dirty, nasty person and I don't wash my clothes that often unless it's my home clothes just because I like to keep my clothes in pristine condition so I don't wash it every time I wear them. My mom is a golfer. She started buying her golf clothes on Lucan. They don't even market for golfers, okay? But she's like, I love their skirts. I love their clothes. They have the cutest little sweaters. I'm gonna buy Lucan. So she's been wearing Lucan clothes and she washes her clothes after every single wear because when you're golfing, you're sweating, you're out in the field, it's nasty. Amazing quality. Mm -hmm. I know, she's got the Lucan app and everything. I helped her download it because <laughs> she doesn't know how to do that by herself. They're inspired by K-pop, Y2K, minimalistic styles, and their price range is super affordable, so it's anywhere between about, typically, 10 to $30 per piece. Lucan focuses on no overproduction, no waste, lean local production. I believe most of their clothes are actually made in Korea, and South Korea has some pretty strict regulations when it comes to labor laws. And they're always looking for more innovative solutions that create a more sustainable and 
inclusive fashion industry. They also have free worldwide shipping. They ship to over 200 countries. So it just makes it super convenient. And genuinely, listen, if you haven't been to Korea, it's giving Korea. I love the quality. I love the look. I love the way that it fits. I love how unique the designs are. So I'm actually going to leave a link in the description with all of my favorite pieces, like my own little collection that I've created on Lucan. And probably everything that I'm going to wear in this video is going to be in there. And I'm going to give you guys a discount code to get 20% off of that. And there's a giveaway. There is a giveaway where basically everyone is going to be a winner technically, but there's going to be one main winner that wins a $500 Lucan gift card. And another second place winner that I think wins like a $100 gift card. So everybody's a winner. So make sure to go click the giveaway in the description. And it's only running till like November 29th. So this is like my birthday giveaway technically. <laughs> so make sure to sign up for Lucan in the description, enter in the giveaway, shop my collection, and thank you Lucan for sponsoring today's video. And let's let's work out. Let me change because I think half of working out is looking cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is badly coded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Good. Oh, oh. You know what? Continue. <laughs> I want to show you my outfit. It's so cute. First of all, these cargo pants are so cute. I'm not a huge fan of cargo pants just because I feel like they don't do me justice. With these, I love because they cinch the legs and they cinch at the waist. This is padali. I don't know what else to say about it. And then, and then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. And then, I need you to take a moment for this shirt because you're thinking, okay, I've seen that shirt everywhere. This is a very normal shirt, Stephanie, right? It's not normal. Let me tell you exactly why. Because most shirts that are cropped, they're just going to be cropped in one line, right? This one accentuates your figure because it's longer in the front. That is good. And then the sides cut up. So it makes your waist look... <laughs> You know what I mean? Anyway. In honor of working out, I bought a yoga mat and a foam roller. <sighs> it's um, a new yoga mat. When I start a new hobby, it needs to feel new. It needs to feel like a new hobby. <laughs> Here's my question. Should I make this like fun and do a new outfit per set? <laughs> it's a work car. It's not a fashion show. But it could be both. Why can't it be both? Mom has friends over, so I'm gonna try to stick to the bathroom right now. But the full workout consists of 100 jumping jacks, 100 burpees, 20 jump squats while you hold your ears, one song, you have to do a plank crawl, 20 plank up and downs, 20 plank twists, and 75 crunches. That sounds like a lot. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like it will end you. One, two, three, four. Bro, this is working. It's like you're part of a girl group. Come on! Why is your pants so long? Because <laughs> I tied it to the It's Here, cute, I it's cute. Want it all to go to my... It's cute, it's cute. <laughs> What's so funny? Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now it's the burpees. Alright, let's go. 25 per set. Wait. Is that it? I don't think that's right. <laughs> uh huh. And then. Wait. <laughs> okay. I've never, I've never worked out before. That doesn't seem so hard, does it? Excuse me. I'm sweating. Four. I'm sweating. Four. <laughs> Are you sweating? counting? No. Okay. Let's just say you're at. Twenty-five. Like twelve. <laughs> what part of workout is this? Like, what part is, of your body is burning? My sweat glands, I'm sweating. Can I take off your leg warmer? <sighs> oh, yeah. Why'd you sit there? What do you get out of it, huh? Hormone. <laughs> Hormones. <laughs> Next round, let's go. Can I get that too? Why? Let's go! Let's go, let's go! Three, two, one, go! Oh yes. Chop chop faster, faster. Back straight, all the way up, all the way down. <laughs> Only 55 more. Let's go. Well, I came here to serve, so I'm gonna be back <laughs> after an outfit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hello. Woo! Look at that's very dramatic. You know, thank you very much. <laughs> what are you gonna work out or are you gonna do something else? Are you wearing pants? Wow. Wow. I 
what he said. Okay, so first of all, look at these ribbons on this skirt. Makes the skirt. Look at this. Why don't they make it like this so you put it on, right? It's really baggy. Guess what? You can cinch it so it looks like the it's the perfect amount. Round three, let's go. What's round three? Burpees. <laughs> I thought this was supposed to take like 20 minutes. <laughs> Not three hours. Jump squats, let's go. Can you count me? Yes, yes, three. <laughs> 90 degrees, let's go. I want to see 90 degrees here. <laughs> let's go. Okay. Plain crawl. Okay. Can you give me a song? I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. Watch your workout is more exhausting than me working out myself. No, it's a uh, plank up and down. Oh, oh my God, that's rough. You're saying I'm about to do like up, 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 yes, Bro, up, 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 no up. Way. Try it. You got this. Oh. I believe in you. Come on, up, <laughs> up. Yes. You can't even do one? That? That's concerning, honey. Ready? Ooh. Can we edit that in the loop to make it look like I did five million? Oh, look at you. Look at you. That's good. Oh, that should burn. It does. What did you say? It does. Okay. <laughs> okay. Help me. Okay, you're almost there. This is the last set. Come on. <laughs> this is no joke. Anyway, outfit, outfit. <laughs> Welcome to my couch. I feel like I blend in really well. Also, did you guys see the hairpins? Also from Lucan. All of my leg warmers, all of my hairpins. They've got so many cute accessories. They have shoes. They have purses. But I want to give you guys a book haul because I feel like there's something going on with me. I don't know if it's a transition from summer into fall, but I feel like the past year or two, I used to love sunny weather. I used to be attracted to the sun like a freaking magnet. Like there was an inner compass inside me that's like, <gasps> where the fork is the sun? And I would be there for it. These days, I want gloom. I want nothing but rain. I want thunderstorms. I want forks, Washington, twilight level weather. I decided I was gonna start getting into spiritual stuff. I think one of the main reasons that I didn't get into this when I was younger is because I was sh on for reading Harry Potter because I grew up in a very religious church and they sh on me. They said I literally signed a deal with the devil. I'm Doja Cat. I am the Illuminati for reading Harry Potter. JK Rowling has her own issues. Middle school me did not know her issues. Anyway, they got so mad at me for reading Harry Potter and then I had this indoctrination that anything witchcraft related, anything spirituality related that was not religious was taboo, was not acceptable, was like dark magic. But uh, look at me now. Look at me now. A book called Witchcraft. <laughs> Let me explain why I got this. Elementary school me would never be allowed to purchase something like this. And I will say like there was a stigma against witchcraft that was embedded into me ever since I was a kid. Is this and a fictional book or is it a fictional? It's the history Can of witchcraft. Oh, so this is a history book. And magical traditions. And I also got a book called Tarot. These are all like the history, the 600 year old tradition of tarot. Oh my God, it's a photo book, that's beautiful. They're all illustrated. I was reading a bunch of fantasy books recently this month. Fantasy, a lot of thriller, a lot of just world building books. Everything is rooted in history. It feels like there's maybe 500 stories mm. and every Like book a spin off. Is like a spin-off, and it must be from history. Yeah, so that's the same like, thing for the like the Chinese one I used to read. Really? Yeah, everything comes from like old school mythical yes. creatures and yes, yes. yes. So that's why I want to learn because I mean some of these authors they're so ingenious and I just want to like see what they know. Look at this Okay, yeah. so I got witchcraft. I got a tarot. I got this one. I'm really excited about. It's oh, called nice. the Circus. I'm fascinated by circuses. That's a beautiful book. Wow. It's so cool. This one I got so that I could connect with my husband. It's Chinese myth and folk tales. He tells me nonstop about, listen, me and Monkey King are best friends. Didn't we find a book of Monkey King in yeah. New York? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I should have bought that. So yeah. I can know more about Monkey King than you. I can tell you everything about Monkey King. <laughs> How many forms does Monkey King have? Eight, 12, 
The fairy tales of Hans Christian Andersen. I love Jeez. old fairy tales. And then this one, I got Alchemy and Mysticism, which I think is just gonna be so fascinating. Whoa, this book is weird. It has a cover. It's the uh, Masterpieces of Fantasy. It's just fantasy art. Oh. I don't know. I think it could spark some creativity now. Huh. I also got this book called Crazy Competitions. If you are world building and making some sort of crazy competition, this mm. might be a good book to get some inspo from, right? Mm. Like, look at this crazy... That's just sex. Symbolism. The book of symbols. I mean, I think, what's going on right now? I think symbolism Who picks is so these books? cool. It's, why is the evil eye what the evil eye is? Why do we associate the eye with something like that? Like, I want to know where it comes from. <laughs> Here's a book called Magic. Oh, yes. Whoa, I like this cover. I think you'll like that one. I really wanted to be a magician at one point. <laughs> so this one is called East of the Sun and West of the Moon. The origins of Norway's famous folk tales. Ooh. Day two. What'd you say? I said I don't want to be here. It's I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sure is cute. You like it? Is that Luke in too? Yes, it says cat mate. And it's got two cats that are mates. Oh. And then this one is a scorch. And look how cute it is. It's just the perfect match. Real burpee this time. Come on. Oh, yes. Now you're gonna feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. We got this. The plank walk is the next one, right? So yeah. basically, I think I can do it from this position. <laughs> Enough with the shenanigans. <laughs> let's go. Focus. Okay. Okay. This is inappropriate looking. Uh. Down, up, down. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's extra painful today. Let it burn. <laughs> Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Can I tell you something? It's like end of October now. It's basically November. With these past two months, September was probably the worst month of the entire freaking year. October, maybe second worst year of the month. This month has been rough, but September was just absolutely unhinged. Literally everything fell apart in September. Every aspect of my life was holding on by a piece of floss. That's what it felt like. And I was trying to like, <laughs> And we were in New York and in the midst of a mental breakdown, genuine tears streaming down my face, soaking my shirt. I decided to go online. I was so desperate for relief. So I go online and I finally did it. I bought one of those evil eye bracelets. I even Googled, is evil eye cultural appropriation? <laughs> I bought it and I was so excited. I did overnight shipping because whatever the fuck was going on, it needed to stop in the next 24 hours. I get it, I put it on, I let it cleanse in the moonlight because they said put it in front of a moon. I put that baby on and sh it's still going south. It was a little bit better, but it was still pretty bad. And then all of a sudden, you know, Pokemon comes over, we do a little collab out of the blue. She looks at me after the camera's cut and she goes, did you buy that bracelet for yourself? And I go, oh my fucking God. It's cultural appropriation. <laughs> and I was so stressed. And she goes, no, because um, a friend recently told me, you can only wear the evil eye if it's a gift. You cannot buy it for yourself. I ripped that off in two seconds. I cleansed it in the moonlight again. And you know what? Just for extra precaution, I stuck that shit in a UV sanitizer. <laughs> Where are you channeling your, your spirits now? Definitely through my nips. What do you mean? Where am I? Oh, where am I putting all the negative energy? Uh -huh. It's going straight into me right now. <laughs> this is the ultimate spring roll hack, which is basically you get all the spring roll ingredients, you chop them up, you cut. Oh, also I didn't show you guys my outfit. The outfit is actually sold as one dress, but you get two completely separate dresses and you can make multiple different outfits because I love these like mesh. Oh, that's one piece? Yes. Oh. They're 
they're sold in one, but you can wear them separately. And they're That's both cool. cute separately. But spring roll hack. Get all of your spring roll ingredients, mix them up with some sriracha and hoisin, not too much because you don't want it too salty. Then you get the spring roll papers and just make it like a salad. It's so much easier. Mmm. 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 Mm That's Stop. cute and all, but like, is that workout appropriate? Are you kidding? <laughs> Are you kidding? Of course it is. Of course it is. It's so nice up here. <laughs> I'm procrastinating again. Okay, okay, okay. You got this, Debbie. Honey, give me one of those like Instagram alpha motivational speeches for working out. If you want to breathe. No, no. <laughs> if you want to breathe, yeah. If you want to, if you want to succeed. As bad as you want to breathe. <laughs> then what? Then you will do it. Come on, let's go. I'm not easy, Mama. I said instead of me, can she do the workout for me? Oh. So what happens? So many people can do this. What? 21 and younger. Oh, I'm not easy. She said she's coming. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is the queen of when I go golfing. From the back, <laughs> then I look 19. My mom looks like She says, I probably can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, she's going to Pilates in like 30 minutes. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's senior citizen Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> it's a like senior citizen because she volunteers and they're just gonna go stretch. Trying to stand up. Right, right, You need to go to see your citizen workout. Oma, this is K pop workout. Good job. 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 그 라인링 거 비디오 만들었잖아. 응. 그 아, 소라 어머니랑 우리가 얘기했잖아. So our researcher in Korea went to meet with Sora's mom again. We were trying to go to Korea to meet up with her. Um, I wanted to go in November. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to go in November. So I, they met up together and I was like, whatever she wants to eat, shower her with love and fruit and whatever she needs. So they went to go eat hui. They ate sushi. Aww. But look, it's Sora's Aww. mom. She's so pretty. Wow. Researcher said, we met with her and she wanted to tell you a lot of things personally. I wrote some of them down. Today I feel finally that I've done my duty as a mom. I'm really grateful to Stephanie and all those who listened to my story. Thank you so much for the food. There was a comment that said, please think of me as your daughter. And that comment made her tear up because she was so happy. that she took the risk of speaking to us back then. She has received a lot of love and support. Of all the people who have tried to cover her story, we were the ones who did not just use her story. For that, she is very grateful as well. 
Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm so sad. I really wanted to go to Korea. There's so many people that I want to see if I get to Korea anytime soon. And she was definitely one of them. We just didn't end up going this month, so this will have to do for now. Oh! oh! Here you go! I present you! We got to mango! Go! I love you so much for supporting me. Just like throughout Stephanie Sue, Miss Mango Butt channel, but this play button, this channel means so much to me. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. My gosh, I wanna thank my mom. <laughs> <laughs> my beautiful coat. Thank you, thank you. I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> this is what my fiance calls the slipper challenge and he's been dying to do it. What's that? Did you call it a slipper? Okay, I want to show you guys the fit. How cute is this one? And I decided... Oh, oh wait, I need my slippers. So I decided that I'm not working out today. Because why? Because I live in a free country, that's why. I'm Bro, just, this is so it. hard. How did they do <laughs> it? Oh, oh, the slip back challenge, it's really easy. So basically what Are you, you sure? do is you do this, no? And then you do this. Did you watch the tutorial? <laughs> here, here, come, come. come. Okay, okay, okay. Don't make a fool out of yourself. <laughs> okay. There's steps. Step, Step one, one, try to mock it. Your feet uh, fly out. And then that leg will let go. You see that? Fly out. Step one, like this. <laughs> <laughs> Like that. Boom. Uh-huh. Boom. Yes, yeah, slide, Boom. slide, slide. Yes, yeah, slide. Boom. Yes. More clean, like a like a glide. I mean my steps are too He's cool. Korean. I'm Korean. Exactly. What the heck? <laughs> Please. You try. You freaking try. Okay. Very easy. Oh. Oof. Oof. Boom. Ooh, right. Okay. It goes this, this. Okay, try this, it. This. This. Oh, oh, this, oh, 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 this. oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're a mess. You're just as bad as me. Boom. Boom. <laughs> you're just hopping. I think you're worse than me. You're skipping. You're skippity dippity. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Before I go upstairs and change, um, I want to show you guys what we did with the books here. This is my puzzle station right now because every fall I have to do a puzzle. This one is Moonlight Sonata. That's what it looks like. It's 500 so, pieces. So that's it? You gave up the workout challenge? I didn't give up. I nailed it. I killed it. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then these are the books. We try to make it look like one of those bookstores. It's kind of cute. It's kind of giving the vibe. And then we can turn the fireplace on. It's not a real fireplace. That's a fake humidifier fire. So it's not a fire hazard with these books right there. This little nightgown is also from Luca. And I think it's so cute. But I think um, in honor of being a workout queen, I'm going to give you guys one last good one to remember me by. This sounds very inappropriate. <sighs> Ready? And a three, two, one. And we're done. You're done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts? What was your favorite look? She came to work out. She tried and attempted. It didn't work. Her workout didn't work. But I hope she ate. That's all I can say about today's video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check out Lucan in the description with all the giveaway details. As well as my collection. Like everything that I love from Lucan is going to be in that collection. So make sure to check it out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Not me forgetting to tell you the answer to the question. If a blue crab and a red crab were in a race, which one wins? The blue crab, because the red one is cooked. That's the answer. <laughs> <laughs>